Hello everybody. So in my last video I showed you how you can install the Amazon Fire OS 5.0 developer preview. Um, this preview is available for anyone. Uh, I have a video on how you can install it. It's in, this, in the description. And if you want root, you will need to install it. Either that, um, if you still have version 4. Point, 4. Point, um, 5.3 or below if you have 4.5.3 or below you can already root this device but if you have 4.5.4 and above you cannot root this device and you will need to use this method so if you cannot root your device install the developer preview and unfortunately if you want root you cannot keep the developer preview uh, because we're going to have to downgrade to Fire OS 4.5.3 and you can only downgrade on the Fire OS 5.0 developer preview. Um, by installing this preview it opens up some opportunity and that is new options in the in the uh, recovery. So uh, first thing before you start this video you will need to have ADB set up the Android debugging bridge set up on your computer um, so I sh might could find a tutorial on how you can do that or if you ha already have it set up which would be great then you can just uh, use your current setup so while since I've got that all out of the way, I know it is unfortunate that you can't keep the Fire OS 5.0, but I guess that's just how it's got to be. So, the first thing we want to do is go into your ADB tools, or since I already have it in my path, you can do ADB, reboot, recovery. Oh, and sorry, I forgot to mention, you have to download the firmware file uh, before you do this. You might want to download it before you do this. There's an update dash Kindle 20.4.5.3 underscore user for blah, blah, blah. Um, I'll have that uh, download in the description. That is the file which will install the 4.5.3 update. So, back to this. Go into ADB Reboot Recovery, type that in, and instantly your device will reboot into recovery, and I will show you the new option. Alright, starting up. Alright, here you can see we got a new option, Apply Update from ADB. Now that's great because if you had the developer preview and you didn't like it you could downgrade back but it also leaves the vulnerability of being able to install an earlier um, version of the software which is great for us because that means root so what you want to do is use the volume down button and by the way you can actually get into this menu without doing ADB reboot recovery uh, you can whenever you're turning on you can hold down the volume up and down button plus the power button until it goes into this menu. So, first thing, scroll down to apply update from ADB using the volume keys. Press the power button to select. And now it says, now you can send an update package. And so, what you want to do is go into your downloads directory and do ADB sideload. And I forgot what it's called. Update. Okay. <laughs> ADB side load update dash Kindle dash 20 blah 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 dot bin. And press enter. And this, I'm assuming, will take a very long time as it needs to upload to the device. And then it needs to flash it. So you can see it's actually at 0% still. 
it's uploading to the device it's at one percent and um, I'll be back once it is uploaded to like 99 percent okay so I didn't exactly catch it on time but it did finish up uploading and then it said total um, X for 2.06 X and then it says script succeeded it says result was slash system whatever that means and it says install from ADB complete so it might be a good idea to wipe data or factory reset uh, but I'm not going to because I can always do that afterwards if I have any booting issues as in you can do the um, power and volume I believe on the earlier versions of the Fire um, HD, Fire HD 6, as in I think on the Fire HD um, 6 version 5.0, I think they changed it to where you have to press both. But I think previously you held down only power and volume down, either that or power and volume up. So anyways, I can do that later. So I'm just going to do a reboot system. And uh, this is probably going to take a while because it just installed firmware. So I'm just going to wait it out. I will um, pause now and start recor recording again whenever uh, something new is happening. Alright, so it's been going on for a while and it's not booting up, so it seems to be in a boot, lo boot loop. I've looked at the ADB logcat and it seems to be repeating. It says somewhere that it, uh, boot failed. So it seems like that um, I'm going to have to clear data, so I'm going to force this off um, by holding down the power button. And I could do this from ADB to get it back into recovery. I just want to make sure I'm right about this it's the volume down and power button I believe okay so I'm wrong about that um, let me try one more time with uh, volume up okay yes I was right about that um, it's volume up and here you can see that this is the old recovery which obviously doesn't have any really any options so yes, unfortunately I'm going to have to do a factory reset which will uh, clear all my app settings and things like that. Um, I hate doing that. So you just press it, go down to yes, erase everything. And we should have a working, um, it should be boot, booting after that. I hate to do this uh, because every time you do a factory reset it will disable ADB and... Um, all that so I'll have to that means if this isn't a fix then it's basically break for good um, because you don't have access to ADB but you know without root a lot of the time you can't unbreak it because you don't have root so so here you can see it is rebooting back into the fire OS logo and I am hoping that this time it will boot. I will pause the recording and start once it boots up if it does. Thankfully we got a successful boot so I requested ADB and heck yeah we are on we just downgraded. We can look at device options system update you can see we are running 4.5.3 which has the root vulnerability now I have to go through setup again as soon as I went through the Wi-Fi setup and account setup it took me to an activity uh, where it automatically downloaded an update so I'm basically restarting from scratch right now it's re-downloading the uh, 5.0 developer preview I will get that installed and we will redo this because I I mean 
I'll skip to it. You don't have to see me redo everything. But um, basically, we need to disable the system updates uh, in order for this to work. So that is what we will have to do once we get uh, updated. I forgot to mention I'm not in 4.5.3 anymore as it updated me to 4.5.4 .4 before it started downloading 5.0 so that's why I can't do anything yet. When you're going through the setup screen be sure you do not connect to Wi-Fi yet. So now you can get to the home screen. Now let's go ahead and download a couple apps. The first is Kingroot, which is a Chinese application uh, which will root your device that is starting to download. Uh, I'll leave the link in the description. The second is a tool uh, made by JMZ uh, which allows you to do certain modifications to the system uh, such as disable disabling OTA updates um, which should uh, prevent the issue that I had before so I'm going to download that as well and now we can go ahead and start installing um, I can go into downloads directory and we can do adb install and first we can do the uh, JMZ tool and that should install alright so that's installing and then we gotta do install the oh my goodness install king root app um, which is finished downloading so I think that's king root and press enter and we will be installing king root so since um, since King Root requires a um, it requires a network connection, um, we are going to uh, connect to network. But before that, we're going to go into the ADB shell and do a method that disables OTA updates. Thing is, I don't know. Uh, I've heard issues with. Uh, this method, I don't know if it's true, but I've heard that it can cause a break if it starts updating, or if it updates with um, when it's on standby. But um, that's why we're going to use that other app because I trust that more than this command. So what you want to do is do adb shell. I mean, sorry, we're already in the shell. pm block com dot amazon dot ota ver verifier ota verifier and press enter and it says it is blocked so um, just double check and make sure I spelled that right right all right we should be fine and now we can connect to network. You can see that we got those two apps installed. The Fire Tools and King Root. We need to connect to network first. So I will be doing that. I will let you know when I've got that done. Alright, so I connected to Wi-Fi and even uh, went to my account. I, I mean, logged into my account on the device. And it actually did start to do the update process, uh, but it says tap to install. Um, this time it didn't do a full screen update like it did last time in the setup, so that's good. Um, we should be able to disable that once we get root and use this tool. And then we can um, 
unblock the OTA verifier because we can uh, just use that tool. Alright, so here we need to do root. So go into the app and press try to root. And since we are on 4.5.3, this should work. Um, in the past when I was di uh, did this, uh, when I had 4.5.3, it worked. Um, some people said it took a couple tries, so uh, just so you know. So this can take about three minutes, so I'll pause the video. Here you can see it says root, rooted successfully. And um, if you'd like some in-depth uh, instructions on King Root and anything about that, I have a separate video on how to root using King Root. But now go into the apps, go into device, and go into the Fire HG7 tools. I'm on an HG6, but this should be the same. So go to System, Disable OTAs. And here you can see it is prompting for root. OTA is disabled. I'm going to actually undisable it and then go back into here uh, to ADB shell and then I'm going to ADB shell PM unblock. Okay, device. I don't have it plugged in. I'm not paying attention. Alright, and now I have it plugged in, and let's do the command. Alright, and so now it's unblocked. Now, let's go back into here, and I'm going to disable OTAs again. And you should be fine now. I'm going to... It looks like the um, update notification uh, disappeared, which is a good thing. I'm going to go into settings, and device options, system updates, and yeah, great. Um, it's not trying to queue any updates. So we've got a rooted device with updates disabled. Thanks for watching. If you like this type of stuff, please subscribe.